our very Monsieur Fromage's world-famous cheese shop. This is my cheese master's gold certificate. And, of course, I am willing to start immediately. This is very impressive, I must say, Mr. Jacob. Excuse me. Gentlemen, how can I help you? We've come about the job. Oh, really? It seems you have the competition, Mr. Jacob. Hardly. Tell me what experience you have had. Briefcase, Barry. Well, we've worked in a bakery, we've worked in a pickle factory, and if we get this job... We'll be a ploughman's lunch. <laughs> but most of all, because we love cheese. Blue cheese, goat cheese, buffalo cheese. Hard cheese. Ah, this is what I want. The passion, not the paper. Thank you for your interest, monsieur, but the position is filled. What? For someone supposed to be a genius, Fromage, you've just made a very big mistake. Goodbye. Now, today is the World Cheese Makers Competition. I have won for four years and hope to make five. Today, everything must be shippy, shippy. Right, where would you like us to start first, monsieur? Shall we uh, alphabetize the cheese or color code the crackers? No, one of you can help me prepare, the other can sweep the floor and look after the shop. Who is it to be? Lead the way, monsieur. Barry, brush. <laughs> This is so exciting. I promise we won't let you down. I know this because you have the passion. Also, you have the Probiscus Giganticus. How dare you? No, you have the nose. Believe me, in this business, having the large nosing is a blessing in disguise. Uh, do the grand noses run in your family? Well, they do in the wintertime a bit, but we always carry a handkerchief with us. <laughs> oh, hello again. Yes, just a little me. I just came to say, no hard feelings, and to wish you both good luck in your new job. No hard feelings? OK. No harm done. No. Listen, now that we're friends, you couldn't do me a favour, could you? Sure, what? Could you look after Timmy for me? Of course. Uh, who's Timmy? Can't he go with you? He could, but the cat sanctuary isn't really his favourite place. Oh, no, you can't take him there. You won't be long, will you? Don't worry. I'll be back in no time. Good luck. Jimmy. Is that the National Cheesemakers Association? Yes. I'd like to report one of your members, Monsieur Fromage. Everything you need to know about cheese is in here, my book of secret recipes. <laughs> What do you think you're doing? That man who came in earlier asked me if I'd look after his mouse for him. Well, get rid of it. Have you any idea what Mr. Fromage would say if he saw it? He'd say bonjour, Monsieur Mouse. Mouse? Did I hear someone say mouse? Uh, no, not mouse. A uh, uh, house. That's right. Uh, we were wondering what it'd be like to have a house made of Swiss cheese. Ah, but I think that the rain would get in through the holes. What is this? I'm not sure. Let me get rid of it for you. Yes, I know what this is. Uh, well, I can explain everything. I don't need to explain. I do like the juicy little raisins. They are perfect with the Stilton knob. <laughs> oh, my manners. Here, Paul. Enjoy. <laughs> what did you do that for? Um. What did I do that for, Barry? Um, he was saving it to celebrate, and it's no time to celebrate yet. That's it. Right, right. We do not want to tempt fate. Oh. It is Madame Flounder, one of my best customers, and the wife of the main judge. Get him quick! Madame, it is always a pleasure to see you. Can I tempt you to some of my cheeky little brie or my gorgeous gorgonzola? Well, I want something really special. Something for the more refined palate. If you will stay here, I will bring you the unique cheese for the unique lady. <laughs> <laughs> well, if he won't come out, I'm going in for him. What is this you are doing? 
Lean my ear down into the only Swiss cheese. Um, this is not how we are slicing the cheese. Timmy! Pardon? Chill. <laughs> Do you like it thick or thin? Um, at least this thick. Ah, you like it chunky. <laughs> Is this the power cut? Hibiscus. Hibiscus, that's what. Uh, is that a hibiscus flower in your hat? What? Yes. Do you like it? Oh, yes. It's very fetching. Uh, Barry, make yourself useful while I chat to Madame. Oh, yes. Um, one can tell a lot of things about a person with the kind of flower they wear in the hat. Really? Yes. Take Queen Victoria, for example. She used to like to wear a... Grab him, Barry. A what? Um, a grab him berry. It's, uh, it's a mixture between a blackcurrant and a robin. There are... Um, I present to you the very special cheese, a work of genius, which later today, I hope, is going to win me my fifth blue ribbon. Oh, Monsieur Fromage, I am so honoured. But for my very special customer, I can spare one slice. Um, I'd like to buy your special cheese and the platy thingy, deduct it from my pay packet. Madam, you must excuse his enthusiasm. He is as passionate about the cheese as I am. No more nonsense, monsieur. Et voila! <gasps> the cheese! It has been eaten! You! You have done this! We're sorry about this, aren't we, Barry? I don't know what came over him. I should be sacking you. But I have the big up, no? And also... I have the second cheese. Fromage the genius. He is allowed for every little mishap. He called me a little mishap. Don't worry about it. Oh. Now, may I pay? And there is your change, madame. I hope you have a lovely dinner party. Au revoir. What are we going to do about Timmy? He's out there all alone. What happens if he bumps into a cat? He won't. He can't drive. You know what I mean. I should put this somewhere very safe. Look, if you're that worried about the mouse, we'll buy you another one. Right now, I'm just glad he's out of the... Sure. That's right. I'll go. Oh, hello again. More cheese already? No, no. Monsieur Fromage gave me two little change. Oh. Paul, Paul! What? Hmm? Ah! Look, it's only 10p. Really? It's... What are you doing, young man? He's gone. Why did you come back? This is too much. First you eat my cheese, and then you empty my bag out, and now you won't give me my change. Monsieur Fromage will hear about this. Mark my words. What are we going to do? He's still here, isn't he? Yes. I can feel his beady little eyes watching our every move. Ah! Ah, what is it? <laughs> cheese! Gone! Mouse! Sack! Ah! He's in Fromage's special cheese. Now what are we going to do? There's only one thing we can do. What every chuckle would do in the circumstance. Ron. Yeah, no, 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 no. We'll pool our resources and make a cheese of our own for when Fromage gets back with the judges. Then no one will be the wiser. Yeah, but you said Fromage was a genius with years of training. We don't even know how to make cheese. Yeah, well, it's only a bit of mouldy old milk, isn't it? With a few herbs thrown in. What could be simpler? Besides... I know where his recipe book is. Oh. Right, Barry, let's get started. No time to lose. And I hope for your sake, this remains a mouse-free zone. Right. No, 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 this won't do at all. What's that, Paul? Well, he's got his vat miles away from his ingredients. Come on, we'll bring it over. To you. To me. To you. Finished. 
I've lost him. Give me a hand with this. Wish I could lose you so easily sometimes. <laughs> Look at the state of this place. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, indeed. And it may have escaped your notice, but the vat is empty. Oops. How's that? Right. Leave this to me. You catch the mouse. I'll do the cheese. <laughs> I do. But that cheese, it looks a bit, um lumpy. Did you stick to the recipe? Sock. Pardon? Give me a sock. Don't mind if I do. Still a bit soggy anyway. There you go. Hold it over there. Hey? Eh? Hold it nice and wide. Uh, but, yeah, Paul, but... Never you, mind. What are you doing? Uh, open it up. Are you sure you know what you're doing? Of course I know what I'm doing. Hey? Eh? Oh, yes. Now, the final crucial stage. To give it a good squeeze to sieve all the juice out and. <laughs> oh, dear. What have you done to my beautiful cheesery? We can explain. You speak for yourself. There is no time. The judges are here. Well, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> hey, how did that get there? I thought it had been eaten. Um, or stolen. Uh, stolen. You've done it again, monsieur. The judge is assigning your certificate now. What? But this place is overrun with mice. Oh, there was some silly phone call. That's why I came in earlier, to check up. I hope you don't buy my little trickery, monsieur. Always a pleasure to see you, madame. <laughs> there it is, look! Oh, 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 Timmy! You would do this to me? Monsieur Fromage! Uh, yours, I think. As if. It is. It is his. Prove it. OK, I will. Mouse poo! <gasps> Don't be ridiculous. They're raisins, you fool. <laughs> Prove it. I'm not hungry. I've just had lunch. Go on, just one teeny weeny piece. They're very juicy. Ah, all right, it was me, it was me. It was your fault for hiding these two instead of me. Anyway, I'm too good to work for the likes of you, Fromage. I'm off. Don't take that. <laughs> I believe this belongs to you, monsieur. Oh, thank you, madame. And thank you, too. You have saved my, how you say, sausage? Bacon? I hope that young man's learned his lesson. Don't worry, missus. If he eats Paul's cheese, it's a lesson you'll never forget. Eh, hey, monsieur? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>